I used to be a buffalo, but my dad ripped off my foreskin <laughs> to make your brother in your armchair. It's kind of like an Adam and Eve situation. <laughs> your yeah. balls go saggy. Mm. Your balls go saggy. If it's hot, it's hot, yeah. right? I um, I walk, sometimes walk outside bare feet. Do you ground yourself? Right? No, you don't. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you're yeah. fucking no, weird. You, me believing in you, okay. but it's not ego. Mate. I tell you what, I need help. Everyone. <laughs> so you do it when you're in dire need. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm a really good driver, but I'm just. You so acting? Like, that's not true. Well, you funny, crashed your it? car when I was in it. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't have hit it hard, mate. I bumped into it. That's what bumpers are for. It's <laughs> crazy. Oh, Look at that little tear. Get a zoom up for that. <laughs> Get a zoom in on the tear. Oh, I'm so glad that's you uh, and not me. Hello everyone. everyone. We're back for episode I think 14. Yeah, yeah, I think it's yep. 14. 14 yeah. episodes. Look How long that. have we been doing this? We've been doing it well, like a Nick year. Asked me this. It, yeah. it was uh no, not yet. I thought uh, it was uh, longer. You said February. I think I said February, I yeah. February. Is it? I don't know. That's what you told what me. What day a few is it now? Ago. November. Yeah, October. near enough. Near yeah. enough, yeah. So it's 8 months, 8 months. Oh, 8 months within. Eight I months so about 2 months. 2 months, is it? About. Is it? No. Well, I feel like you started off and it was weekly, but we start. Well, weekly. we started off weekly, it's, then it's we did three monthly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we stopped for about three months. Our views dropped. Your yeah. first, your first upload was six months ago. Six oh. months. Wow, that's not that bad. That isn't that bad. Thanks, Thanks, Harry. I've got a question. Yeah. If you have a question on the podcast, yeah, and you don't know the answer, does Harry? Does he look? Harry it up? can look. It Harry up. can look. Harry it can up. do oh, anything. If you want anything looked up, just let me know. We will. Oh, behind the mic. So our guest Sam's today, everyone. Is my very very good friend yep. Nick Rippingale. Nick, is that, that your second now, name? Rippingale. Yeah. Rippingale. 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 I've never met another Rippingale in my life. Have you? Uh, no. but there no. is a Rippingale village. You go two hours up north. But I've never been looked, there. Why have you looked that up? Well, no, you just Google your name sometimes. No, well, why do? There's a Jack the Ripper. Yeah. So we're kind of. It's funny related. you say that. I remember when I was in school and I actually convinced a kid that I was related to him. Oh really? <laughs> no kids, they believe anything. Did anyone yeah, know thick. Jack the Ripper? Yeah. No, no, I don't think they found out, did they? They didn't find no, out. They, there was a theory actually. They thought it was Prince Albert, Prince or one Andrew. of the royal family. Really? That he was a bit, you know, like Prince Andrew's a bit. Yeah, yeah. So then he went out and he'd do this just for the kicks, you know. Yeah, he. But no, no one never found out. How many did he kill? Did he How kill did he people? Kill? How many did he kill? Yeah. It wasn't a lot. It was like six, seven. Who was the bloke that put people was in pies? <laughs> oh, I know who you're talking. Well, that was Sweeney Todd. Wasn't Sweeney it? Todd. But, I think he was. He was. You didn't know Sweeney Todd. No, he's in either the what the scissor one. He hairdresser. Yeah, yeah. Cut, cut their necks. Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't yeah. think he was a real person, was he? I think that's just a film. Fuck! Hold on. What? It's Halloween today. Oh yeah, happy Halloween! Oh, yeah. oh shit! Oh, are we talking about Jack the Ripper? Oh fuck! Yeah, that's no, what reminded me about it. Oh fuck! Did you yeah. remember that? Did you remember? No, that? I don't really do Halloween. You know, it's not. It's I think when you get old, you kind of. I forgot it's Halloween today. Happy, happy Halloween, everyone! Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, guys! Wow! Yeah. Did you ever go trick or treating? Uh, I, I don't think I ever have. Because where I live, it's just full of old people. Yeah, yeah, so yeah but be... that's the best. They give the best, the best. Yeah, head. but I don't know. I think I tried. To... <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't remember ever doing it. It's not really. A th- I feel like it's a thing in America. You know, you watch these American. No, mate, it's, it's a, a thing th- over here. It's mate. a really? good thing. Here, yeah, mate. yeah. No, the well. rules are you. Uh, I think the rule is you look for a pumpkin outside and then you can do. Oh, it. that's the clue. Yeah, because yeah. well, if you don't put a pumpkin outside your house, then you can't go there. But yeah. I'm surprised that kind of with the setup of Halloween, it's quite dangerous now. You know, how this things are in the world. Yeah. Yeah, you can easily get like murdered. And I yeah. went to a scary. The kids don't do it on their own, do they? They go with. They parents, get. Mm, surely. I don't know. Uh, it depends what age they are. Yeah, it. Do- I I I watched this thing the other day, and this kid, six years old, the six. Mother, yeah, that's six. Yeah, he. Uh, it was on twenty four hours police custody. Have you ever seen it? No. Great show. No, Great show. It, no. This little six year old, the mum let it walk to school on its own, mm. and um, went what? missing. I know, I know. Went missing. Found the kid. She said, "Oh no, police! My kid's dead." Gone. Sorry, not dead. I yeah. just spoiled it. But yeah, oh, they found him. Died. They found him in the woods, naked, no sort way. of like laying down. And um, turns out uh, uh, another like thirteen-year-old kid killed it. What the thirteen-year-old? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, not sexual. It was just just That's killed right. it. Huh. Killed the kid. Yeah. It's quite a cheery, <laughs> quite a cheery <laughs> thing on Halloween. We've got that. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It's did you guys trick yeah. or treat? Do you remember doing it? Well, I was just going to say trick or treating. If you think about it conceptualized, conceptually. <laughs> oh, big word that doesn't exist. If you think about it conceptually, what was I saying? If you think about it, what is it? No. Like what's, what am I what's, to say? The, what's the origin? Oh what? no! Why? Okay, so this is what happens on trick or treat. Yeah. So you go to some random person's house, yeah. threaten them, and then they give you sweets. <laughs> <laughs> what the, yeah. Who the fuck made that up? <laughs> yeah. And then, you, aren't you supposed to say like you're supposed to scare them? 
you say trick or treat ah yeah uh, that's what i mean and but no one does that yeah no and then that. and then mm. You always have the wankers who think they're funny when you say trick or treat, and they're like, "Oh, trick you!" Yeah, yeah. And you're like, "Oh, yeah." yeah. And and the ones that the the kids, I mean, some people don't even dress up; they'll just knock on your yeah, fucking, fucking house, yeah. track suit, yeah, yeah, trick or treat, and then I don't think they should get it. I think it's like as a thing, you have to have some sort of costume. Yeah, I and agree. That, if you don't yeah. have a costume, you shouldn't get sweets. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it should yeah. be kind of a rule. Have you been? Have you been? Yeah, I used to go. I've never given out sweets. I kind of, I'm a, I'm a yeah. taker, not a giver. I, you know, I know in you that fucking sense. are, mate. Yeah, he fucking is. You've Did never you? given. I've never uh, given. Sweets. My mum don't really do it. She can't be fucked. Yeah, no one comes down. We live down this kind of cul de sac. So we, we've never been had someone knock on. Oh, really? Tree. Ever? So we don't bother, yeah. Fuck well, we me. used to have a tradition yeah. on Halloween. We used to go for a curry so we kind of miss oh, all the nice. trick or treaters. Yeah. Why don't you just not answer? Or just put. Why don't you just put a sign up saying fuck off or something? No, I don't know. I don't want to be rude. So you just go out for a curry? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Would you, if you had kids, would you do trick or treating with them? Nah. Do you think? Do you think Boring. by the time we have kids, no, nah, I feel, it will stop I feel like down. by then, like it'll be offensive to someone. It'll be cancelled. Yeah. yeah, dressing up as a ghost, they'll yeah. be like, "Oh, you're offended, ghost." Yeah, yeah that's like someone used to be. You know, yeah, well, person and that. Well, that's a that's a funny story. Have you seen um, what's that? Slut, not slut. What, oh, Ooh. not a slut. <laughs> no, not. I hate that word. Yeah, me what's too. that girl's name? Who she did that show on Disney? I think. Victoria. Oh, Miley Cyrus. No, the no. other one. She's like bald now, I think. Britney uh, Spears? No. The other one? Uh, what's that girl's name? This oh, is where you you're fact-checking. You've got to give me some more in. information here. Okay, so oh, she. I think she was on Victorious. I think she was the main character. I read it. So is someone like Miley Cyrus? Is someone like that? Victoria Justice. No. She's the main girl in Victorious. Oh, it's not her then. Does it matter She's what her name is? Carly? Just no, no. Show? Vanessa Hudgens? No. I can't remember, but Ariana anyway. Grande. No. She's like a weird one now. But anyway, she um she did some ghost hunting program, mm. right? And yeah. What's her fucking name? Oh, I showed you this yeah, one. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah. What was her name? I can't remember. Anyway, so she's doing this ghost hunting program and they've got this little radio thing that like beeps and they say, Oh, it's the ghost answering if it beeps. Mm. And then the she she's talking to her and it's beeping. And then uh, suddenly it stops beeping, and she's like, "Are you are you not talking? Because there's guys in the room." Yeah. And then it beeps, and then she starts like <laughs> crying and shit. She's yeah. like, "This ghost has gone through trauma with men. Get out!" <laughs> yeah. And well, she just went straight to that. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From literally. a beep. Yeah. I think, she's tra- I think she's trying to push her agenda. Yes, somehow, exactly. Really. And yeah. then she starts singing to it. She's like, I know exactly how you feel. I've been traumatized by men. Oh my God. Yeah. And it's all this big bullshit thing about yeah. men are bad. And then she starts singing to this ghost to help it recover from men trauma. Yeah. And the guy's wow. just standing outside. Just and the, yeah, even. And the guys are going she's along. She's put them it. in an awkward spot because they yeah. didn't expect that. And yeah. now they've got. A, they can't really defend themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So like, the is beat. it because the guys are here? Get the fuck out. Yeah, it's <laughs> mental. Is it, is it Bella Thorne? No. No, not no it weren't. No, it weren't. I can't remember. Is it Amanda it Burns? No. no I think You'll know the name when I when you say it. But you get these people that they say they've had sexual encounters with ghosts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's do. fucking. I don't know what's going on there, yeah. but uh, some people like it's like that scary movie where that girl's getting fucked up the wall by oh, it. Oh yeah, the ghost. yeah. That'd be yeah. quite cool. I wouldn't mind being sucked off by a ghost. You reckon? Would you? Uh, well, I surely would, yeah. if you turn the lights off, you and Jack were in a room together, you turn the lights off. Mm. You wouldn't know. No different. Yeah. If Jack starts if sucking you off. If you believe in your head, then what's And then the Jack's difference? like, I can feel a ghost in it. <laughs> like, yeah. But you, Enjoying you it. a lot believe in ghosts. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Do, do, you? do you believe in ghosts? I, man, I just, there's a lot of evidence out there, but. There is, yeah. It's not really concrete. I think yeah. if I, if you haven't really experienced it, it's hard to believe it. But that's like a lot yeah. of things. But you've had an experience. I've never. You, do you remember my experience? I don't think I do. Was it recent? It, uh, I smelt. Well, yeah, I smelt my nan. My nan's piss. I've already spoke about this. On yeah. The pod, oh, you've already done the pod. Well, you yeah. tell me separately because I I'll definitely do not know this. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna say about yeah. the whole uh, law of the universe. Okay. That's bollocks. Is this a s- separate subject? Or is this to the guys? Yeah. Well, no. I'm just oh. saying another thing. That's well, bollocks. What's, what's bollocks about it? What, law what of the that? universe. What, what is it? Can't law, just say it's law like. Of the universe, bollocks, have, bollocks. have you ever read the secret? No. No. It's basically how. Uh, you think something's going to happen and you have to speak it up Oh, manifestation? No, it's not manifestation. It's bollocks. Oh. 
But like, what's the principle? Okay. Like, if you so, speak it out, it will come true. Yeah, because like. the universe yeah. listens and yeah. it gives. I, I tell you why it doesn't work. It does work. Go it go doesn't on. because I te- this. I tested. Very comfortable. Well, just go on. Okay, I'll tell you why it doesn't work. Go on. Because I read the secret, right? Because those people recommended it's like it changes their life, and the whole premise is that you like, if you want something, yeah, you instead of trying to achieve it. You speak it up into the universe bullshit yeah. and then it hands it to you. And mm. that's literally what it says. And in, and one of the exercises in this book is that if you want a car parking space that bad and you and you speak it into the universe, you'll get it. And I and I thought, all right, if I'm gonna believe in this book, I'm gonna try this theory out. Mm. So I sat there for about half an hour, I had a little journal. And I said, I'm going to get this car parking spot in Lidl. Okay. And I kept writing it out. I kept writing it <laughs> oh, out. Oh, you have to write it down. That's part of it, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. And then I kept thinking, I'm going to get this car parking spot in Lidl. I'm going to get this car parking spot in Lidl. Right. Yeah. 20 minutes later, drove to Lidl. Car park was full. And oh, that's wow. what. And that's, and that's saying, rare. And that's Might be rare. wrong. Might be the wrong. How many but times? Then maybe the universe is telling you something. Right? Yeah. Because that's very well, rare yeah. that it's It's telling you to oh. not go to Lidl for oh. some reason. You might have gone maybe to Maybe I'll die. If I die in Lidl. Yeah. Yep. Well, you might have bought a dodgy banana, ate it, and you might have been Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Be. But I Everything, think, there's uh, a message in everything, maybe. Yeah, yeah. like, I, I... So what's I, your, yeah, what's your... Yeah, so I, I, some, I speak to the universe. Yeah, well, you're in a good place. you pray? No, I don't pray. Oh, like in your head, you... pray. You, I, you no, send no, out I say good, it aloud. good vibes. Say it out loud. I, um, I walk, sometimes walk outside, bare feet, because you ground yourself, right? No, you don't. <laughs> I do, yeah. you fucking weird. No, what you do... No. No, because we're so detached from the earth, yeah. No, you're not. You t- have you're to. An idiot. Look, you're always in you're shoes, rubber. You're not getting to the earth. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you touch your feet, bare feet, on the mud? But grass? what does that do, Cole? It put it puts you in touch with like nature. No, it shit. doesn't. Well, so you feel like there's kind of energy and forces yeah, in the ground energy. that come it is. through. There's fucking. It's actually. Been I think proven. there's some truth no. to this energy. Oh no, 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 no. Actually, no, there's, no, it's no, actually no. been proven that it was like something like. Uh, there was this scientific uh, oh, yeah. study where <laughs> someone actually went outside with no shoes on <laughs> yeah. and uh, something in their body changed. Oh, yeah, it sounds scientific. <laughs> and, and it was like, it released, I can't remember, but it like sort of released yeah, some shit. Yeah, but that, that might, yeah, okay. Yeah. But I believe right. that the ma- mind is very powerful. And if it's you right. believe hard enough that it will change your body, your mind is causing that. Body well, change. that could be it. It's like perce- like you're perceiving it that well, way. Well, your body, it's like a placebo, yeah. Mm. Like, if yeah, you believe be. this drug works, your body will fix itself better because it believes this drug works. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. If you believe by putting your fucking feet on some mud, <laughs> it's going <laughs> to it's gonna make you energized. No, so what I do, anyway, I, I put my feet on some mud or some grass in my garden. So this is a ritual or this is just a one-off This is done? This is when I feel like I need to ground and speak to the universe. What does okay. grounding mean? Define it. Grounding means you're, put, you're, you're putting energy, you're getting energy from the earth into you and putting it back into the earth. Uh, <laughs> so what's okay. the point if you're getting it and putting it back in? Well, do you, do you know, think the earth wants your energy? Yeah. Do you think it wants you, you get your energy, energy from the earth and like yeah. it, 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 it fuels you and shit. No, right? it doesn't. Come. And uh, you should try. It. All right, how about this? You, you should go should without do it food. Do a couple's one. Go without food for three weeks and see if it gives you energy. No, it's not energy like that. It's a different kind of energy. What's Jack? the energy? I d- it's just like a, it's just like a natural feeling energy. <laughs> so anyway. how, do, how do you feel when you come out of this grounding? Session? I feel good. And, and you what do it for how long? How long are you stand outside? I, I go out and I stand <laughs> in the mud and uh, I say. Does it have to be mud? It doesn't have to be mud. I just think mud works better for me because it's it's closer closer to the the earth, earth, right? I think the grass stops it a little bit. And uh, I... That extra layer makes all the difference. So I I stand there, usually after a shower in my towel or something, and I I go, uh, well, I won't say X. It's it's personal. It's personal. And I I say it out loud. And then um, sometimes I can see the sun behind the cloud comes out and I'm like, it's listening. It's listening here. I have nothing to say. I don't You've know you got too say, much Jack. of an ego, Carl. That's it, not ego, it mate. Is ego. No, ego is thinking, oh, I could just do it with fucking no. self. Me believing in you, that's not ego, mate. I it's, tell you what. I need help. Everyone. <laughs> so you do it when you're in dire need. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> so when you're in dire need and you've got no other options, you think when I feel like... I'm sure if you get cancer, you walking out in the mud will help that. Well, we'll not see, science, right? we'll not see. scientific well, fact. And well, you, you'll see when I'm manifesting a fucking better life than you, mate, and you're in the dark gutter. Yeah. Right. You'll see him. He'll be going out of his house trying it. Yeah. You know? He won't, he won't <laughs> admit it. But he'll be like, be... you're right, Jack. I'll be in my Lamborghini. You'll be standing in the mud still. And I'll be like, all right, Jack, you're trying it, are you? You'll learn. You'll learn. It's bollocks. No, well, can, can I watch a part of the session? 
Yeah, or is you it a very watch personal? It. Thing? It's, I think you have to do it on your own, really. It's my rule. It might feel a bit orchestrated, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel like it's all the natural. people that believe in that shit, though, it is like a you believe your center of the universe type thing. No, definitely not. Because definitely because everyone that thinks like, oh, I I can speak to the universe. Mm. I don't think I like, can speak to the universe. I I sort of get the universe's help. It's okay, well, do you do you believe in crystals? Uh, so like no, amethysts and all this stuff. Yeah, and no, no. And I think moon, moon water. And oh, you fuck these fucking idiots. My mum oh, believes I, in them. No, let, my let, mum believes in them. Oh well, your mum's Doesn't probably she, lovely. What, what does she have? Does she like? She has a drink. She don't drink and moon water, like does she? I don't know what that is. She so basically, that, let me speak about moon water. Yeah, it's the most stupid concept I've ever fucking heard in my life. <laughs> so moon water, people, and this is common. Yeah, a friend of a friend does this. We were speaking to him the other day. So they get a glass of water. Mm. And they leave it out overnight. Oh. Full but moon. it has to be a full moon. Full moon yeah, yeah. yeah. Full moon, yeah. to energize the water. Okay. Mm. Now let let me quickly debunk that because all water on Earth has been under the moon. Yeah, but not in that particular time, I suppose. I don't believe in this. I, it's the first time what I heard. Do you mean? Why would it's so much energy go into ener- that specific? Because you got energize it over water, over over overnight. Probably. I don't know. Maybe you just got yeah. Okay, but also it. another thing: the light on the moon isn't made by the moon it's sunlight, it's sunlight yeah. so surely it's mm. stronger from the sun yeah but maybe what it's but doing it is bouncing be hot and yeah yeah maybe it's nice bouncing warm. off the moon getting the moon's energy bam into a drink you drink it yeah. and what's, what's it supposed to do because I, I can't remember uh, it's yeah. just like it just makes you better I guess I don't mm. know yeah. help with your energy energies and that yeah yeah and then there's also another thing this is another thing so there's there's this girl that uh, we know who? And uh, I'm not going to say. I don't know her, actually, but it's a friend of a friend again. Yeah. It's actually a friend's sister's friend, but don't forget about it. But um, So she would carry this amethyst around everywhere. and mm, yeah. or I guess it was an amethyst, some kind of crystal that's meant to give you like good luck and like mm. all this bollocks. <clears throat> and she'd carry it every day. And one day she uh, she she was like manifesting that she'd, she'd get this guy. <laughs> and uh, she'd carry it every day. And uh, one day she walked past him and he smiled at her. Nice. And she was like, oh. Had my amethyst on me. Yeah, yeah. But the problem with that, you got it on every day. So yeah. any good thing that happens to you, yeah, but that was you just say, oh, she asked for. that's a specific thing she asked for, wasn't it? And then he yeah. smiled. Yeah, but that could be anything. That's quite a normal thing, someone smiling. Yeah, it's it, quite a normal reaction. Yeah. yeah, but did she did she fuck him then? No. How do you know? She didn't. She was probably going to, and then he saw the amethyst stones yeah. around her room, and he was like, no, nah, i got to fucking yeah, bounce. bounce. Yeah. Although, some uh, girl I was dating, she, um, she on one of our dates... She she was quite a dirty girl. She <laughs> so I was surprised at this. And um, some of them are the ones that do these stones. Yeah, oh, the stone Because to, yeah. to th- believe that stuff, you got to have a bit. Yeah, of Yeah, she in mind. she she gave me like a handful of little crystals. Oh wow! And I p- had them. I put them in my car. I haven't crashed or anything. So and that's good for you. You're terrible. It's good. I'm a terrible driver. Yeah. Well, no, I'm. I think I'm a really good driver, but I'm just. You act, that's not true. Well, what am I then? I'm I never crashed. Like, you crashed, you funny, crashed your car when I was in it. No, I didn't. Where did I crash? You did. Where? You did, Carl. Where? You crashed into another car. No, I didn't. You did. You reversed into another car. Oh, yeah. But was what, it was hit and run? Was it parked? Was yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't have hit it hard, mate. I bumped <laughs> into it. That's what bumpers <laughs> are for. <laughs> I would crash in terms of like smashed and shit myself. And that? Yeah, I guess you didn't so, shit yourself to be fair. <laughs> exactly. That determines a crash. That's so, true. yeah, those those crystals, uh, I, haven't, uh, I, haven't, I haven't crashed and died. So, and you put that down to the crystals then? No, I just... You want to take responsibility for that? You don't want to think, oh, I'm a good driver? You want to... No, yeah, I think I'm a good driver. I, I think I'm a da- not dangerous, but I'm, I'm all right. Mm. <laughs> but when you guys broke up, she might have cursed those stones. Oh No, she yeah, still right. likes me. Oh. She says she does, mate. Yeah. She's probably she got a lot of doll of you. Oh, range. yeah, she's probably pinching yeah. bollocks of a doll. <laughs> do you ever yeah. get ball lake? I do. That's her, mate. That's the word. That's her. That's her she's fucking pinching her voodoo squeezing doll. Squeezing my fucking dick. <laughs> 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 Let me introduce Nick, by the way. Oh, yeah. We, we haven't, haven't actually introduced, introduced Nick him. yet. Right. We got a bit stuck in the flow there, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. That's so, okay. uh, Nick, mm. um, how long have I known you, Nick? We've known each other a long time, Carl. Since I'd say uh, probably your second longest friend. Uh, yeah. So it's probably yeah, been definitely. about 13 or 14 years. Uh, Bloody yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. And I'm glad you brought this up because me and Carl... When you look back at the foundation of our friendship, we yeah. were both quite strange kids. Yeah, yeah. And we I think were, we yeah. bonded over the strangeness, and we had quite oh, a unique strangeness. It was strange. That not other kids had. So yeah. I remember well, in lessons, uh, we'd just say random stuff. 
Like what? What do we say again? Well, I'll give you an example, Carl, because I was going through my room the other day and I actually found a birthday card oh, <laughs> that you got for me. You've got He's it on you. Oh, I brought it with you. Oh, dear. I thought oh, you might want to see this. Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. So I'm going to struggle. I'm going to open up. You uh, kept a birthday card. How, we, how, we, how, how long ago? You know, I just hoard stuff, but I'm just dumping oh, it. I like so that. Yeah, I wish, and you can have it if you how want. How long ago was I really wish I did I don't know. I don't know when it. when you got it for me because there's no... Yeah. So I'll just show the card. It says baby girl. Baby girl. How the fuck... Did you draw that? No, I didn't draw it. No, no, no I bought it. Oh, it was, but it's got oh. quite a nice paragraph in it. Fuck me, that's long. So, so just read it out for the audience because I'm sure they'd love to see it. All your yeah. fans. Yeah, hey, gone. Yeah, oh, shit. So it starts off quite normal. Let, just, this uh, would be yeah. about year nine, everyone. So I, think I don't it was know what. A bit more than it that. wasn't. It wasn't. Go on. 18, 19. No, definitely not. So it starts off normal. You know, it's got the normal messaging. Wishing all the best for you and the precious little girl who's already made you so happy and proud. Who is that about? Well, that's just what the automated message is. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. Okay, but I yeah. thought I'd start off normal because then the weirdness will seem more weird. Go on. <clears throat> so it starts off Nikolai. Yeah. Which I presume you used to call me. I don't remember. I don't think now. I did, but go on. Listen, Nick, I'm a daffodil and I haven't told anyone yet, so I'm telling my worst friend first. I used to be a buffalo, but my dad ripped off my foreskin <laughs> to make your brother in your armchair. It's kind of like an Adam and Eve situation. <laughs> took the lung. What? He took it by force, Nick. He took advantage of me. Got a bit dark there. I need your help. You can either shove a Burger King straw up your ass and let Owen <laughs> suck out your kidneys, <laughs> or you can donate this £10 to my care home. <laughs> I did buy okay. you 400 Ferraris and oh. gave you the keys to all of my dad's 7 million houses, okay. so I'm kind of expecting something back. But if £10 is too much, then I don't mind. Coliana. What the f- And then uh, it's not quite finished yet. You put, please donate to 0800 bang my tits. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give that to you as a reunion of our friendship because I've actually been away what? for a little bit. So what the it's fuck like the circle that? of life. That's just pure bollocks. <laughs> but that's kind of a demonstration of how None our of friendship None of that made works. sense. That'll, uh... And we'd have full on conversations like this throughout lessons. Yeah, we would. I forgot about that. Yeah, It we was would. really strange. This, so I don't know when yeah. it started to become normal, our friendship. Well, our, I remember our Facebook chat would be... Mm. Um, very strange, and yeah. we wouldn't really speak about normal everyday things. And I remember the amount of messages compared to everyone else that I'd speak yeah. to on Facebook at the time. Yeah. Everyone else was like a few hundred, his was like 12,000. Blood, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it, we used to speak all the time. Yeah, we just love it. It was you, you two, and Owen, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, I wasn't really friends with Owen to start with. Oh, no, no, I brought him in. Yeah, yeah, I was in. a new recruit to this weird gang that's now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Can I, sorry, just a little quick side note before yeah. you carry on. Just want to say something. So, they, <laughs> Owen was actually here today. Oh, he was. Cole, Cole, bear in mind, these guys live just over two hours away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and. The <laughs> you explained it so well because well, I still don't understand. This is what's happened you're the driver, you're the right, so I was driving to to the podcast studio, right, and it's about twenty five minutes away from uh, Brighton. Mm. Yeah, uh, I for some reason typed in Brighton, and I drove to Brighton, and I I was already about an hour and a half late, and uh, then I Jack calls me and I said, oh mate, I've accidentally gone to Brighton. I've been here about a million times, so I don't know why I did that, and then. Um, Owen was in the car with me and Nick, and I, I just we stopped at traffic lights, and I said, "Oh yeah, um, Owen, get out." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no context, just no. <laughs> you decided at that point that yeah. Was a stop well, I said, "Mate," well, I said because I thought Owen wanted to see Brighton. I didn't realise he might want to see it with all of us at four in the afternoon in the rain. <laughs> it's raining. pissing it down. So Perfect I said, "Owen, get out now." It's traffic lights, and he goes, "Oh, uh, what? Why?" And I said, "Well, you'd have to get a." train from where the podcast is into Brighton and it was like what? what and I said just get out now it's gonna go green he gets mm. <laughs> I think it was the pressure out. the pressure got to him pressure got to him and he gets out and I obviously drive mm. <laughs> drive with just me and Nick to the podcast studio and I'm so, not really sure why so he is currently just <laughs> sat in Brighton in the pissing rain on his <laughs> own <laughs> on his own I've got about four messages on my phone just just, just, from just come get me please <laughs> yeah, yeah I got a few he's just on from. his own there you just di- ditched him in Brighton I, d- I don't know what I don't know why I don't know why I didn't bring him in you know, sometimes you just act in the moment yeah on prom reflection it, yeah, it, it was... doesn't make sense but it happened yeah it to be fair on. those are the best times Absolutely. not for Owen it's fine not yeah Owen yeah. hates it Jesus yeah. Christ it doesn't yeah, work out for everyone all the time you know no it doesn't but we benefited yeah Exactly. Yeah, it's nice and dry. It's lovely in it. Maybe it was the hot. universe. 
pay yeah. him. Yeah. It Maybe he did something really bad. He probably is karma, yeah. Maybe he took yeah. one of your stones. <laughs> yeah, he probably took one of my Ooh. crystals, mate. Yeah. yeah. Um, so me and Nick, going back to me and Nick, yeah, so uh, we were, as you can tell, we were quite strange. Mm. He could, he's given me some weird cards. I didn't keep them because fucking oh, cursed yeah. or something. And then um, <clears throat> he's just recently, I went to Australia with yeah. Nick three years ago, right? February 2020. Yeah. Me and Nick and one other friend, we went out to Australia. What, it's like a holiday? Well, for you, I th- we didn't really have a plan. No. I think you, for you it was a holiday. Cause for me it was going to be 10 weeks. Yeah. Oh, f- and this oh, was in, when the bushfires were happening. All them yeah, koalas yeah. getting fucked up. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, we went yeah. out together. And then I had to make a choice, obviously, COVID hit, and I came back, so I ran out of money. Mm. Three grand I took over. I spent that in six weeks. It's a very easy country to spend money, you know? Very easy. Especially when you buy things like an eye. Picture of the eye. It was like 50 quid. It was a picture of my own eye. You see these things in like the shopping centres. I'd never seen it You still got it, actually, haven't you? I still got it on my wall. A picture of your own eye. You look into this HD camera... They take a picture. Oh, of your actually, no, that's quite cool. It tells you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, when you're on holiday, it's a strange purchase. It is a weird purchase, yeah. but I r- imagine. I know what yeah. you're talking about now. I yeah. thought you just meant like a square of this bit. <laughs> no. But if it's, yeah, like your pupil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can see all the, like, the. the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. It is nice. It's, it's got to be 50 color. quid. It's quite a lot for an eye. Yeah. Yeah. You had to carry that around in your bag. That was like the first few days you got it, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was in Melbourne, actually. Uh, a girl came over to see me from New Zealand. Not in Jeez. New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Flew from New Zealand to see me in Melbourne. Oh, really? Um, and then I... Uh, uh, yeah. Three she... years ago, were you like quite big back then or was this the... You barely even had a job. We were talking about this. I thought no, you no, were... No, 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 no. As in big like muscly. muscly. Oh, muscly. Uh, I think you started gym. Relatively, yeah. Oh, Relatively. Really? Really. But it's when... weird looking back at pictures. You used to be like a runner bean. Yeah, yeah. this is what I'm saying. Yeah, you seen pictures of I, I never saw the middle ground of you getting big. Yeah. Did you see the starting point of my grimness? Uh, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah, yeah you, you look like a different sure, person. Yeah, yeah. It just shows what money can do. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not buying anything. It's no effort. <laughs> just money. <laughs> yeah. To be oh, fair, yeah. cool. I'll, I'll tell you something. You'll like this. Yeah. Someone said, uh, uh, when I went to clubbing on Saturday, they said, oh, Carl's pretty wham, isn't he? That's a good one. He's pretty yes. wham. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. Did he, oh, what did you say? I, I bet hot. you went. Uh, no, no I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's good. Good muscles. Did you? Yeah. Did you? I did, yeah. It's oh. wow, it means hench. Uh, you yeah. know, actually, I'll tell you what I said. I said, yeah, he works hard for that. Did you? Yeah. 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 Oh, respect, Nick. No. Uh, oh, you <laughs> fucking prick. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. You've <laughs> been here one week and you've been replacing me. Fuck off. This is my podcast now. <laughs> Fuck it. And what did you used to be true. like, Jack? Because, you know, when you make money, you're oh. going out and eating a lot. Sometimes it's easy to put on weight. Yeah. So <laughs> what are you trying to say? No, I'm not saying no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thick yeah, just jumper. No, but I'm saying, like, do you have to do something to keep in shape, or are you not too fast? No, I used to, and then I—I uh, I won't go into it, but I got liver failure, and then uh, oh shit, you're going out a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it was actually bleach. Oh, <laughs> he tried to kill himself. No, I didn't try to kill myself. We'll cut that conversation. No, no, I didn't, I didn't actually. Try. No, I was I was taking a like um a gym pre workout pre workout. Really? And it it was off some dodgy website, and it contained bleach. Was it in Chinese? The writing? No, it wasn't. But it racist. Was, uh, oh yeah. Fuck Chinese, that! Yeah, you you are horrible, oh, Nick. Sorry, Get him off. Oh, okay. They're gonna take a snippet of that, put it online, and I'm done for. It. <laughs> well, you haven't got fucking social media. That's true. Uh, yeah, which yeah. is another point. Why? Yeah. You don't have any social media? No, I it. did have it. Um, Ooh, yeah. I actually got rid of it recently because I'm not trying to do some political movement. It's just a personal thing. I just uh, Like a mysterious thing. No, it's just like, I was going on it, right? And, you know, because you go on it and you scroll. And yeah. I was just on it for maybe, not much, like half an hour a day or whatever. And I'd think, out of that half an hour, maybe five minutes, I was looking at stuff that actually was substantial. Mm. So I thought, what am I doing? Like, I could be doing something Wasting productive. Time. Mm, yeah. And I don't know, the whole <laughs> social media culture, like, not you guys, entertainment's one thing, but I think there's, it's not good for the... What was it? Tell, tell them the turning point. Oh, for Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Is it okay to talk about <clears> it? <throat> it's quite a weird story. Um, it's your show, so I don't know. I'm sure. I don't fun. know how it will look. It might sound bad. Uh, really let me think. I don't think... I don't, I don't know. It's about... Um, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, it's all right. It's yeah. not like un- distasteful. Yeah, no, it's not distasteful. Yeah. Nick didn't do anything wrong. He, he, he I don't it. know. I don't think so. No, we'll let the audience decide that. Um, so this would have been back in like March. Yeah. So like Facebook, you know, you look at Oh, you've thing. not had it for a long time. Facebook, not. Instagram, I just got rid of maybe like two weeks ago. Oh, shit. Um, so yeah, I was on Facebook. I was scrolling. And then I saw this picture this girl put up. And it wasn't someone I was close with. I think someone we met a long time ago on a holiday. Yeah. Kind of Malia. I'm not going to name names. But Malia. Um, and, you know, she'd obviously been pregnant or something and um she must have had a miscarriage or yeah, something happened yeah. to the baby which is obviously a horrible horrible, a horrible situation yeah definitely. um and then she uploaded this picture and 
the picture was essentially like her hand, and in her hand she had this baby's hand. Yeah, know? yeah. And then like there was this kind of necklace. Yeah. That had I don't know her and the baby's name or something. Mm. And I just saw that and I thought like in my head I was imagining it was kind of choreographed mm. to put on social right, media. She put it, yeah. Right, she got the, the sort of dead baby. Well, and put it on and I hand. just thought and it's not doing that because it's obviously kind of a cry for help which is which is sad in itself yeah but it's just the fact well, that she felt the need to do that yeah. I was like I can't do this yeah no that's so true yeah that's true yeah I it's so weird you say that because I saw and I've still got it on my phone because uh, right. I, I, I I took a picture because I thought it was th- I thought it was fake mm. um, but someone yeah they posted their actual dead baby on Instagram fuck me like the baby passed like, out on the oh, the baby like blue and I sure? and I was like, what the fuck? It just catches you off guard. Yeah, really, it's like, yeah. whoa, you don't expect that. No. But then, yeah. but I was gonna say one of the one of my biggest pet hates is when people like the nun would have died like eight years ago, mm. and then oh, they'll yeah. post on their story, "Happy birthday, nun!" You would your nun's not gonna see this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, won't. Yeah. Who are you saying happy birthday to? Yeah. I don't even post on my story happy birthday to people anymore because yeah. I'll say it to them personally, and no one else needs to see that shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really post happy unless birthday. it's like. But that's the culture. That's kind of what yeah, worries that, me. That's what I mean. It's I just culture, worried about right? the direction it's going in. You know, if people yeah. feel they need to, like, it's gonna like when's the stopping point? You but know? that's that's mm. the, like you say, you're right because like. People will post, I've had it on my birthday, where someone will post a story to show everyone else they're saying happy birthday mm. and not say it to yeah, me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they <laughs> actually yeah. don't. It's like you don't wish me happy yeah. birthday. You want other people to know you. It's all an image thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or they want you to re- like repost it. Yeah, or, or, yeah. Or, I know Jack Joseph. Look at this picture of me and Jack just, Joseph. Happy birthday, yeah. buddy. It's a joke. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Say Do you it, find that's... that that fans tag you and like put birthday? Oh, yeah, no, but it's not. that. That's kind of stuff I don't really mind. Mm. Like, it's kind of different. But if like it's people you know, yeah. That will like s- share a story saying happy birthday, then not say it to your face. Or yeah, or yeah. give you a call or, or like something. yeah, or message you. Yeah, yeah. What? It's more effort to put something up than just to send them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they is. have to yeah. go through all the pictures, find it. Yeah. Like, what is going on? Yeah. yeah. But the downside is now because I don't have Facebook, I don't know when anyone's birthday is. Oh, that's a yeah, bad. That's, that's oh, kind of yeah. what it was good for, you know. You so how, how are you finding like not being on like? Social I haven't media? actually noticed a difference. It was kind of it's a bit weird to start with because you kind of I pull my phone out and you know you get the habit of just yeah. you always have it in the same spot. So mm. I click it and it's not there anymore. Yeah, but I don't know. It's kind of I find I'm using my phone less, which is nice. So what do you good. do then? Because like when I'm bored, I, I oh, mate, I procrastinate so fucking much, yeah, so yeah, yeah. much, like. Like I'll go down at like this is a bit weird, but I go down at like one a.m. in the morning. You know my sleeping is shit. It's, it's fucked. Yeah. I'll go at like one one a.m. in the morning downstairs to make like a shake, like a seven hundred mm-hmm. calorie shake or something. And um, but just yeah. just to <coughs> cut in, sorry. Like, do you think that's a normal thing? One a.m. for your body? Do you, you not get like bad gut from that? No, I got yeah. good gut. Good yeah. gut. You strengthened that. it from doing the strengthened weird the stuff. gut. I've been doing it about five fucking yeah. years. Anyway, carry on. Um, so I go down about one a.m. and bear in mind a shake takes me ten minutes to make and sh- and drink and. I, so I'll do it at 1 a.m. And I end up going back to bed at about 3. Mm. Because I'm in the kitchen. I put a piece of powder in there. Then go on my phone. And I'm like scrolling. I'm like, I'm <laughs> talking to them. So some people are up. I, yeah, like, yeah. I like night hours that are up. I talk to them. <laughs> or I'm just watching something on TikTok or something. And mm. I, it takes me about two hours like, a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's sometimes really it's hard when you wake up. Once you're out of bed, it's hard to get back. You know? Yeah, it is. It's boring. Boring going to sleep sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think that's a weird thing as well. Because I find... I'm always tired throughout the day, but the second I get in bed, I'm suddenly wide awake. <laughs> Your mind's yeah. just racing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. You know, so it's funny because actually, I remember when you started talking about this podcast and I brought, and mm. you brought it up mm. and saying, oh, maybe you can come on. And I've had many times before I go to sleep where I've thought about being on here. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, I What's think it's it like, like a defense thing because maybe you kind of think, oh, I'm worried about going on and what you're going to talk oh, really? about and you kind of create. Well, you ain't going to see any of the fucking gold. Yeah, right? that's true. You're, you're yeah. right. You're protected. Oh, yeah. But Protect I don't know. You, you think of things. It's kind of like dreams, they say. It's like a defense yeah. thing to prepare yourself for. Things that might happen. Real so, life, if you get you know. bored, what do you do now? I don't. Know, I don't really get bored much. You know, there's so many things. Just you know, read, mm. play something, watch something, oh, go for yeah. a walk, go out with your mates. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm in yeah, a bit of a weird true. space at the moment because I've just come back. You know, like everyone's lives. I'm kind of. Oh yeah, we haven't up. got to that yet. So Nick just basically right. came back a week ago from Australia after being there for three years. Yeah. I got back uh, six weeks after I went, so I haven't seen him. So for two all and of this years. that's happened to Cole. This yeah. whole when I last saw him, he wasn't even making TikToks. When I last saw Nick, I was mm. a salesman. And I didn't yeah, even know what TikTok was. Right? A bad salesman. Right. I, didn't even, I didn't even know what TikTok was. And now I've heard him on the phone and he's selling you. He's like... Yeah, yeah. On, on the way up here. So I had Alan business school. I, I would have thought you'd be a good salesman. Yeah. No, I'm not very good. I wasn't very it good. It just wasn't your thing. You didn't have passion for it. That's the no, thing. But this year, well, it, I guess you weren't selling something that you like, right? Just now you're selling you. Now I'm selling yeah, me and my fucking product. dick. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're selling your knob. 
Should we quickly, before we carry on with this convo, do a little sponsored break? Yeah. Quickly segue. Yeah, let's that. do that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen yeah. to this, boys. Listen to this, Nick, boys and em. girls. Go on, Nick. What they say. Gee whiz. What? What time is it? NordVPN time. Oh. New sponsor. Yeah. New sponsor time. Wow. NordVPN. Do you know what NordVPN does? What does it stand for? What does it stand for? Virtual private network, mate. NordVPN is a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online, Jack. It creates an encrypted tunnel for your data, protects your online identity by hiding your IP address, and allows you to use public Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspots safely. safely. Let me tell you one thing. What? Do you know what I use NordVPN for? What? Streaming. Okay. You can stream from 59 different countries with the click of a button. Wow. Like... Do you know what I use it for? No. I use it for searching for flights in different countries, Jack. Do you? Yeah. How many? 59? 59 Something different like countries. One click of a button, 59 countries. Beep. That's a lot of countries. Use the link in our description along with the code LOWIQ to get huge discounts. And you know what else they get? What? Four months free on top of that. Wow. Four months. That's a That's long time. half of how long it takes to make a baby. Uh, well, so it's yeah. quite a long time. Well done. Well. So, go <laughs> quick that thing. Hello. Hello. We're Hello. back. We're, we're back, everyone. We're back. Good Good to be back. sponsored break. Hope you enjoyed that little sponsor. Well, I did. I certainly I did. It, it was he amazing. It. Best really. part of the podcast. Thanks. Exactly. Thanks. Thanks. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Australia. Well, how was that? Did you see a shot? Life-changing. Yeah, we actually we swam with whale sharks. Did I not tell you this? A whale Probably shark, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Do they eat you? No, they're very much like, you know, like basking sharks? We get in the Oh, corn. yeah. They just basically, they glide through the water. Uh, they're the biggest fish, I think, in the ocean. So they just it's a fish? Bigger than big whales? Not no, big that's no, a mammal, that's a whale, mate. but it's actually classed as a fish. Oh, a whale's not a mammal. No, a whale's a mammal. Oh. But, but this, this is, is a fish. fish. It's called a whale a shark. shark, just because of the size. Oh. It's a shark Forget a the whale. Is yeah, it yeah, yeah, a shark's fish. fish. How it's, it's technically a shark. It's so is it like a cross... Turn that shit off. Is it a cross between a whale and a shark? Kind of, yeah. Well, I think it's got really? the name because it's so big. They're blue, aren't they? I think oh. it's something like um, six metres long, six, seven metres long. Uh, See, I don't know who massive. the person that named that needs to get a new job, a grip. I think. Because a grip. that just gets confusing at that yeah. point. Is it a whale? Is it a whale? Just call it a shark. big shark. Mm. No, no. No, no. Uh, yeah. Because it sounds quite intimidating, but then you see it and it's got this big... F- Big dumb face in a cute way. Yeah, it's just happy, like a stingray it's when going, they're smiling. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Or it looks like it's got a smile. Hammerhead yeah. sharks are weird looking. Yeah, yeah why is that? Like, why the why fuck would they evolved? have a hammer on their head? Yeah, because evolution has decided for some reason they that having this like shaped head is yeah. Yeah, that, that we, maybe it used to back in the day. That's, is that maybe how they you know compete the males? Oh, they do they smack heads? Maybe. Oh. You need to turn that <laughs> phone off. Maybe. Yeah. What do you reckon the weirdest looking animal is? Good question. Ooh. Oh, have you seen that thing? It's like I think it's just called a blob. Oh, blob the blobfish. Fish. Blobfish. Yeah, 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 that is ugly. As yeah. Shit. That's cool. Oh, oh no. Apparently, that doesn't look like that. Apparently, yeah. it looks normal, but because oh, it's, really? it lives so far underwater, mm. all the pressure. pressure when you bring it up, it squeezes in so mush. So it probably hurts for it because it looks unhappy. It's there, like it's dead, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Put a picture oh. of a blobfish up now, Harry, so Cheers, they Harry. can see. Cheers, Harry. Look at that fish. Look at that. In that whale fish. Mm. It's fucking ugly as shit. Imagine being like a it. fish. Grim. I don't want to go near that. <laughs> being a fish. Well, the, I find it really weird how uh, whales, going back to whales, they're mammals, right? They live in water. But they breathe air. But they breathe air. Yeah, that's and cannot breathe underwater. So they come up every, what, a few hours for... And they yeah. s- must sleep like, underwater. Why, why would they whales the sleep? How do they sleep? Yeah, I think they just kind of float. They just, you know... What? The, why do they not bump into how shit? How do they not sink Well, it's a big ocean, sleep? bro. Is know? it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, so they just swim maybe they and what's going to bump? Like, what can they bump into? That Another whale, them? I reckon. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, they get oh, the chance yeah. of that. I mean, yeah, that is scary though. Sleep. Like whales, like no, not even whales, just any fish. Mm. The ocean is so massive that like you could go for years and not see another another fish. I guess. Uh, well, there's a thing. I remember reading something. It's about. Um, it was called the loneliest whale. Yeah, and oh. they, you know, this yeah, yeah, where yeah. they they we heard this. this noise, and it's this whale. You know, they they just like yeah, sing to communicate, yeah. but no one could hear him, oh. and he was just swimming about. Well, how did we hear him then? Oh, because we, we have sensors in sonic, the sea. Sonic, oh. But sonic, they worked yeah. out this that there was no whales in the vicinity of the noise he was making. Sonar, we use sonar. Yeah, we use sonar. So he was just swimming yeah. about for years, not no friends. And and because was wasn't out. he like the la one of the la, la I don't know. He was like he couldn't find a mate. Yeah, and it was, yeah. That he was going. 
trying to look for a mate and then I think oh it's like finding Nemo yeah, yeah oh, with a whale though finding whale and he yeah. finding whale and he died yeah man oh, from, bo- died. from loneliness probably. Probably, probably I think died, animals probably. can do that yeah like yeah. what is it I think it's um I can't remember if it's alpacas or llamas but you have to buy them in a pair because they can actually die it's uh, oh I'll tell you why I know this alpaca because I went alpaca things. running you did yeah not running like trekking <laughs> choking and stuff yeah yeah I walked with some alpacas really walked soft with them. Yeah, yeah I walked with them I fed them touched his dick did you yeah actually yeah that's what you have to do mm. really? to tame them yeah you have to touch oh I saw that's I went good. I went to France well, Owen's calling me shall I answer yeah uh, put it on loudspeaker yeah, right, nice. so this say is that we're not on the podcast you right, Owen you right, mate Owen Right. Maybe it's a pocket dial. Oh, that Maybe was a bit anticlimactic. Uh, well. Sorry, everyone. I was um, I was in France and I saw I can't remember if it, if it was a goat or a sheep, but I saw someone uh, take their bollocks off. Oh, I see. With uh, what elastic what bands. Oh, like oh, they wrap they... it around, it just falls off. Yeah, and Time, I saw they? the elastic bands on oh, their balls. Don't they do that with balls? Yeah, to like yeah. roll them up. You know the oh, they ball do. thing in Spain. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. but they don't they tie the elastic bands so the balls drop off. Yeah, they just drop off naturally. Yeah, but how long do they have to have it around for them to do that? Oh, oh ages. That's a long process. Yeah. I mean, I guess yes, after man. like a week, you probably don't feel it. But I mean, how cruel is that? Them. Imagine no. someone tying fucking elastic band round yeah. your balls so tight that they go blue and fall off. We're a pretty yeah, horrible just, species. We're not very good it. at life. We're getting better. It would hurt though. Yeah, mate. If fuck it, let's should we try? Well, it? it might be a slow process. He's got a no. Point for there. a sheep, you don't know how sheep balls feel. I fucking do, mate. Mm. <laughs> I fucking do. <laughs> Have you seen some sheep? The balls. I don't know if it's called sheep goats. because it's goats in it. And they're massive. Huge. They're like well, uh, goat they're balls. like goat bowls balls. balls. You know, like when you play bowls. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're that really? shape. They're that they're shape, and they're huge. like they're like this big, dangling yeah. in between their legs. Well, that's they've got to inseminate so many. It's like one for every thirty sheep. Why? Why are they called bulls when they're not a bull? We're spelt different. Oval. Are they? Wait, bull? Do you mean the animal? Like, no, like a bull. Oh, yeah. Bulls oh. in a bull sack. Oh, that's uh, a really good point. Well, they're not bull shape, but they're like an oval. I suppose they that's what I mean. They should be called. Have you ever seen a testicle in its natural form without the skin? Uh, no, but I can yeah. feel it, and it's kind of like a cashew nut. Do you check your nuts? Uh, you do like a little cancer awareness yeah. thing quickly. Like everyone, check everyone, check your nuts. Your nuts now for yeah. cancer, and all the girls. Yeah. And check do it now. Your boobs. So then squid like your yeah. squid your boobs together. Mm. Send a picture of you checking your boobs to low IQ. But I always get <laughs> I <laughs> always, <Qualified> doctors. <laughs> I always get scared that like uh, I'm like missing the lump. Maybe I'm just. Mm. Like, mm. That's a point. Whatever. Whenever I'm in the uh, shower, my balls go saggy. Your yeah. balls go saggy. Mm. Your balls go saggy. If it's hot, it's hot yeah. right? That's when I check. And I love it. I love them up in soap. They're feeling fantastic. But isn't it easier maybe if it's cold? Wouldn't you feel? No, no, it's cold? worse. You've oh, got yeah. to do it when you're hot. Oh, really? And then you, you're touching around. And I don't like feeling them anyway because it kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And um, I'm feeling like lumps everywhere. I'm yeah, this is what I'm going think. on. Yeah. I've got cancer. It's quite unsettling because you're worried you might squeeze it too hard or something. I think I'm going to disconnect a fucking wire. Yeah. Mm. I think a wire is going to come And also, awesome. when you touch your balls just at the right spot, it like feels awful. Yeah. If you like slightly rotate it a little bit, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gummed himself. You said that. The way he did that, he kind of almost enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, there, there's a thing at the back of your ball that's like a d- attached little thing. Little mm. wire. And it's like a little lump. And when you feel that, I'm like, shit, I've got cancer. Mm. It's not. I had, a, I had a doctor touch my balls. Because okay. I thought I had a bit of cancer. How how hard did you just go in and say, this is what I think I've got uh, and they just do it? I called him up and I said, look, doc, there's something not right here. Mm. My balls, I've got like an achy feeling. I'm feeling some lumps and shit. And mm. I went in there and I, I don't think I've told you this. Mm. And uh, I pulled down. He was like, all right, get him off. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I must hate that. He's like, oh, this is the one part of the job I've got to do all the time. Yeah. Mm. Well, the thing is, it was cold. It was winter. And my dick was tiny. And my balls It always is. Up. Whenever you get yeah. something where you have to pull it out, it's always yeah. the smallest it's, it's ever been. Yeah. And my, ball, my balls were so sucked up in my fucking ass that they were like literally in me. <laughs> and <laughs> do you get that? He must have thought, yeah, oh, yeah. the myth isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it felt but I. Uh, oh, do you also get it where like sometimes you wank and it's cold, and your balls. One of your ball goes on top of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever what get that? Earth are you talking? What? No, like okay, so you wank. Right? I think you should describe this better. Cause and, the way uh, I'm picturing that is, and because like... and, and the balls are so tight to your your shaft, it goes to the side of your dick and sort of goes above your dick. I mean, I don't normally do it. In the I've cold. had it when uncomfortable. <laughs> I've I mean, had it when it's gone inside me. Yeah, but when I've then, lost it, but it'll be like up in my stomach, <laughs> not like literally my stomach, but like the bit <laughs> below. 
This is all new to me, guys. <laughs> no, I'm that's obviously common. Doing something that's common. Wrong. How is it? I spoke about this on a podcast. And I think Theo Baker said he gets it a lot. It sucks into your body. Yeah. Well, because it's cold or it just like a contraction. Yeah, so the wire just just thinks, oh, fuck oh, this, and just pulls it in. <laughs> <laughs> the defense mechanism. Yeah. It sucks it back up. Yeah. But it is weird that our organs are just outside our body. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't be right. Yeah. That's not right. Well, some people are born with a heart outside their body. That's an oh, organ. you've seen that, yeah. Yeah, it's that's just this big lump. Yeah. You'd think that'd be scary. You know, we have to, you know, if you bump into someone, what happens? Yeah, it's no, quite normal. No, no, Imagine no, when you're a busy tube. Yeah. Don't they cut it open and shove it back in? They must shove it back in. But sometimes they have to live with it outside, don't they? Do, yeah, some people do. Is some people yeah. do. Yeah. Should we do some uh, low IQ advice? Oh, yeah, let's do some low IQ advice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's, he's, I, I, he's I, I'm not familiar, but I'll go, you do it and I'll go as well. Yeah. Okay. Right, should we do a little jingle to little get jingle. into the low IQ advice? Okay, so you you know the jingles, right? Don't you? Yeah, but I don't know this jingle. You can do well. No, we make it up. Oh, you make That's it up. So do you want to be? Or, do you want to be the beater or do you want to be uh, the singer? Oh, good question. Or you strike drums. me as a beater. I can beat stuff. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, you beat, but you what kind you of sing, beat? I reckon. Uh, okay, I'll see. Can it be anything you want? Something. Yeah, like yeah you, make you it start up, off with the, any beat. And then Jack will add to it. Yo. Yo. It's the low. 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 You owe advice. Yo. Welcome back to Low IQ Advice. Where we give you advice. So uh, if you want your advice advised... Leave a comment. Comment. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> Leave if no. If you want your problems advised, is that it? That sounds better. If you've got yeah. a problem that needs advising, like a, we'll a hairy, that. hairy, warty penis. Yeah, yeah we'll give you one, advice on that. If you want to get with a girl, but she's got yeah. chlamydia, ask the masters. Chlamydia, yeah. ask, us. ask the masters. We know best. So we've got one. Here we go. Let's start with number one. Anonymous or We're, no? Um, yeah, this yeah. We'll make it anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. Um, sometimes not. We saw, we in our past ones we yeah. didn't make it anonymous and yeah. I think some people probably didn't like it. So this up. one is okay. I never want to shag my missus. Ooh. I love her and I think she's fit. Obviously, am I weird or something? He's gay. Interesting. He might uh, be gay. Oh, is that what you're thinking? He, he might maybe be, he's, he uh, he's doing an Elton John and maybe he's yeah pretending. That is that what you think he's gay? Well, actually, he said he loves her. So yeah, but yeah, but Philip Schofield loved his wife. Yeah. That's true, and he's mm. gay. So well, I think you've got to focus on uh, why you think you don't want to have sex with her. Do you know, know what I think? Um, you yep. watch too much porn. That's true. That's Actually, yeah, question. stop watching porn because watching that porn, will desensitise your brain to yeah. s- having sex on tap exactly. with, yeah. with your hand. Yeah, because I heard that if you like become so desensitised to it, you actually prefer wanking. Yeah, to yeah. Sex. Well, it's like because it creates so much serotonin. It's like if you yeah. did a bungee jump every day, normal life would seem boring. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people do watch porn every day. Yeah. And, and you got you got so. to cut your wanking down, lad. Yeah, yeah. You do. If you do. Or oh. do it to your mind. Yeah, I do that. I always envision like, like mental sexy. orgasms. Yeah. Well, yeah, but your I still girlfriend wank probably. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I just wank over shit in my my mind, but not often. I don't have to do it often because mm, yeah. what you want to do is if you got if you've got your girl there, mate. Then um, don't wank. If you feel horny, do not wank, and then you'll be so horny for yeah. like the night and yeah. the next day. Your girlfriend's gonna come in like out of the shower, looking all fucking tasty and clean, mm. and you're just gonna want to pounce on it, and just ram the yeah. shit out. Of <laughs> and it might not last long, but give it time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it know, might not last long. Improve. Um, or she just might be shit at sex. Maybe she's got as many. Punani. If she's got as many punani, yeah. that's an issue. A lot of information issue. being thrown about. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we right. haven't had too much context because mm. if she had a smelly punani that's a different thing that that's very you bad. can try that's you can eat things that make it smell like flowers can yeah you, you, you can make it smell like curry it's like us eating pineapples <laughs> curry no you can how do you make it smell like curry curry lube curry can lube. you get curry lube yeah do you reckon that's a popular thing outside of the you know asian community maybe maybe it's interesting well he would know he's a part asian i'm part asian oh yeah where's your background uh, curry lube. i'm part asian that, yeah. what is it though a bit indian really how, how much curry lube Quarter, half, I don't know. Oh, I think interesting. Quarter. Do you use curry loop? No, 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 oh, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I think just try different things, you know? Try different things and, you know, maybe it's just you doing the same thing, same position. Or maybe, up a bit. maybe they've got the ick over something subconsciously. Yeah. Yeah, I think subconsciously, just move on. Yeah. You love her, but you want to be single. If you maybe better as friends. You know? it, oh, if you're but don't give yourself, up yet. Try it, different stuff. Yeah, maybe um, you're, you are Try a boy. Try a boy. Try a cock. Yeah. That's our advice. Just try, boys. Maybe she could 
grow, make a cock. A, grow, grow a, a cock. Like a strap on. Or maybe not even. Don't even try a cock. Maybe she wears a cock. Oh, oh. you should mould your cock on right? her. Um, no, then no, no, bum well, yourself. Yeah. So mould your cock in a cock mould, and then strap it to her and fuck yourself. Get her to fuck you with your cock. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But then if that is good, that creates more questions and no, because then he'll be having sex with her, but she'll be fucking him. But have maybe, you ever well, tried what, she to... doesn't want to fuck him. Well, you ever, have you ever tried to suck thinking. yourself off? Everyone's trying. I don't that. know if that's a thing. Isn't that a myth? No, no that's me and Jack have done it. You can. No, do you can't. It? I suppose with stretch. No, me and Jack have tried to do it. No, I hey. don't think I could. Well, I don't know if you fall in a wheelie bin. It might be a bit. You know, Would you though? Down. Would you do it if you could? Uh, is you it know, I, is it I, it's a I tricky one. Nothing against. I mean, if it feels good, like. Yeah, I don't mind people sucking dick. I don't know, but I don't think it's not something I've thought about. Maybe there's not, a stigma. Because there's a two halves to it. It's like it's like the pleasure of getting it, but then it's also the pleasure of giving it. But which one do yeah. you prefer? But would you enjoy doing it? Because you'll be all bent. It'd be and bent. it probably wouldn't be comfortable. Be you know? like, the, the nice part is the fact that you're not doing anything. You're relaxed. And you're yeah, having... but the thing is, then wanking would be gay because you're using yeah, a man's you're... hand to wank. It's the same Ooh. thing principle, actually. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But it's so, just because, you know, that's the, you know, that's it the feels thing good. to do, isn't it? It's great. But sucking yourself off, would I do it? Mm, no, I just get a girl to do it. What about you? I think you'd do it, but you wouldn't tell anyone. I think I a lot of people would do that. No, I don't think I would. Would it be gay to mould your own dick and put that up your bum? Pretty gay, I think. Pretty. I think it, it's probably a time to maybe try men. If that's yeah. probably a good <laughs> like. You know, or maybe you just want to feel what your dick feels like in, a, in, in someone else's mm. arms. I feel like we've gone a bit off topic here. <laughs> what, so what advice are we giving? Oh, yeah. What concrete advice um, are we giving to this man? Might, okay, we'll so around. bits of advice. You might be gay. Yep. Mm. Try a strap-on. <laughs> uh, you could. Your girlfriend could have a smelly fanny. We don't know that. Well, well no, mm. we're going around. Pick one. Oh, yeah. So smelly, he said he smelly, might be gay. If she's got... No, you, that was your one. We, oh. You could have another one. Okay. Thanks. I was just going to say, uh, don't watch anything inappropriate anymore. Yep. I yeah, say... Good start. I say... Um, explore your sexuality. Maybe watch gay porn. If Ooh. you spunk harder over that, mm. there's a problem. Well, not a problem. There's 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 a problem with your relationship. Yeah. Um, and and seek uh, men. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You've really been pushing <laughs> that. You guys going to say seek medical help? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, carry on. Um, I think just maybe it's a bit of a risky one because it's quite a touchy subject. But I think more people should do it. Communicate. You know. Like oh. tell her. I know it's risky, mm, but nice. if she doesn't like the feedback, then communication. You know, she should. It, like, it happens. You know, if you're with someone Spice a long up. time, it, it can happen. Spice that, it up in the bedroom. Yeah, and she might be like, you know what? I've been feeling the same. Let's try some stuff, and then you know, you're in it together. Boom. It's better to, to maybe be have an open relationship. Lovely. Yeah, there's lots of options, Lovely. but don't don't give up. This don't isn't give up. necessarily that, the that's, end. That's, that's that's the crux of it. Yeah, on, I'd say never never give up on your dreams. Yeah. Too one. many people do. I'm finding one. I'm just okay. Oh, nice. Is a good one. Okay. Okay. My girlfriend calls her ex and other guys fit and attractive, but gets hurt when I bring up taking a break or breaking up. (laughs) Right. Well, it sounds like she's doing that for attention. Maybe she doesn't feel loved by the guy. She wants you to be jealous. Yeah, yeah. Jealousy. Um, maybe you're not showing enough attention, but then again, she's... There's a reason she's doing it. She's trying to get a reaction. Again, communicate. Ask her why. Why is there a reason? Yeah. If she's saying, she might think her, she obviously thinks her ex is attractive. Let's be honest. She yeah. wouldn't have been yeah. with the ex. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's, no, it's common all about sense. Looks. Well, you have to be attracted to them somewhat. I agree. Mm. Yes. It yeah. is partly about looks. It is. If you say it's not, you're lying. Well. Actually, that's a good point. We had this conversation the other day just to cut in. Like, what do you think percentage wise is looks personality? No, can I tell you something as Ooh, well? This is a good it. answer. Hit me yeah. to that. Yeah. This is a good one to that. Yeah. I think that. You have the initial look thing. Definitely. However, I definitely think once you get to know someone, their personality changes their look for the better. Yeah. yeah like definitely. you yeah, find yeah. them physically more attractive when their personality is better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That, do you, do you yeah. sometimes think you're with your girlfriend? You think like, if I if I didn't know you, would I check you out? Check you out. Well, like if you saw like the partner in the street, uh, do you think, yeah. oh, would I check you out? If, would I check? Yeah. 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 Well, this yeah. is the thing. But like even my girlfriend, like she's attractive anyway. But once, like, you get to know them, you find them it's more a different attractive. It's yeah. a deeper I thing. But, like, you still think they look better. Yeah, I mm. mean, I, so the other day, my Scott, my friend, he said, oh, you dated that grim girl. And I was like, well, she wasn't that grim? And he was like, yeah, she was. And she, I don't think she was. And her person oh. was so good. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, you know? That, I thought That's she it, was yeah. really, um, 
She wasn't fit. Well, she was all right. She was all right. Yeah, she she, was yeah all right. she's attractive to you, you know. And it's important not to let other people's opinion. Because that it. happens a lot. If you if, if you had, like, all your mates that, oh, she's not attractive, it could really uh, infect your perception yeah, sometimes. Your you see, you've really got to be strong mm. and think, if I find them attractive, that's... I can't remember what the question that's was. That's all that matters. Um, he was like, so... Okay, yeah, so her that, that brings us on to the point. Oh, yeah. She's obviously going to find them attractive. However, her bringing it up to you is a bit weird. Toxic. Yeah, there's a reason. Yeah. She's doing it for attention. Yeah. Mm. She's I, a slut. I, I, I think you should just do it back to her because she's a Yeah, slut. do it back. Well, I don't know, just, but do you think playing the same game is a good idea? I think that's yeah, just going to make the situation definitely. worse. Revenge. No. In fact, fuck your ex... Get one up. Oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck your ex. Maybe he doesn't have an ex. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah. Yo. Maybe that's why he's writing fuck into lower. Fuck her IP. friend. Fuck mm. her best friend. Fuck her friend and be like, ah, oh. which is when she brings up again. Be like, I fucked your. Yeah, because she's so fit. Your but friend. Then when is she so asks her fit, friend and her friend says no. No, 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 no. He would have. Oh, yeah, she yeah, would have yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, do oh, it. She do it. That's our advice. Do it. Yeah. But then, what if he tries and she doesn't want to do it? Then he looks really like a knob. No, and it's a risky, risky maneuver. Yeah, and you just, you just. Find a new identity, move away. Fuck a tramp. Yeah. Fuck a tramp. They'll do it for a tenner. Yeah. Or a, or a dog. Fuck a dog. <laughs> Fuck a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good revenge, that is. Boy. Yeah. That's oh, <laughs> that'll really teach her. Fuck it hell. That's the Wouldn't end. be too dissimilar to his girlfriend. <laughs> 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 spud it, spud it, spud she's, it. She's proper Thanks. dog. Thanks. But yeah, if she says it again, just be like, Because yeah, that's not a nice up. thing to do, you know? That's yeah, not, not nice to do to someone. Yeah, don't tell her. Stop. You better stop saying that, love. Or, or shit's gonna hit the fan. No, nah, mm. again, I think it's the same thing. Communicate. Just be like, why do you keep saying this? Yeah. And if she carries on she, and she knows you don't like it, then bin her off, yeah. mate. Yeah, I agree. come about it respectively. Yeah. You know, don't get all be angry. Respective. Be respectful. And if she's still Respect doing it, you know, you've been nice. So just say, oh, yeah, I don't need this shit. Yeah. I don't need plenty that more thing. fish in the sea. Okay. Plenty more fish. Is plenty more last fel- smelly. Too young to play these mind games. Is that the last advice. Um, do we, should we do one more? Yeah, do one, one more. more. I think we're Boyfriends well. ignoring me after getting mad, and I apologise, but I don't know how long he'll ignore me. Get rid of him. Mm. He's a bitch. He's a little yeah. pussy, yo. If he's ignoring you, get rid of him. Unless you cheated or something. Well, you've done everything right. It sounds like she's done yeah. everything right, and if he's ignoring you, that's his problem. So he's being a little yeah. cretin. Or yeah, ignore him back. I always believe do mm. whatever they do to you. Oh, good advice. <laughs> oh, do you know... Oh, Oh, I tell you, good, this is this is this is the best life advice yeah. ever, right? Yeah. So when you're in a relationship, right? Yeah. Everyone thinks a lot with their emotions because you're yeah. like emotionally attached with people. But this is the same for work, anything. Like if someone says something to you, whatever. My best advice is, mm. if this happened to someone you really care about, like your brother or your mum or your best friend, what would your advice be to them? Yeah. And you take that advice because that's the most rational piece yeah. of advice. But then. You don't take the rational advice. You think yeah. of emotions when you do it about yourself. So, so true. take yourself out of the situation. A take yourself bit. out. Look at it from a analyze. About, you know, yeah. yeah, and and whatever you would tell your friend to do, you do that. Yeah. Wow. And also in relationships, I strongly believe whatever they can do, you can do. Damn, you guys are good at this. Yeah, we are fucking incredible. Brutal. You guys should just show. do a dating. We should do a dating, dating show. show and date each other. You should date yeah. each other and kiss We'd each other. Them. Suck each other's feet. You could. That. Yeah, that didn't you? Oh yeah, Harry, Harry had, had that sucked, on the, one of the yeah. one of the podcasts. He got his feet sucked. He did yeah. by some. He's uh, still talking fans. to her, right? Only fans. What are we gonna call it? Only fans. What? Only fans girl. Yeah. Did she have a name? She's a girl. Oh, sure. Don't worry about her name. Um. Okay. Well. Um. She doesn't have a name. She does. I'm joking. I'm not gonna tell her name. You can look it up. It's a matter. Okay. No more. Right. Yeah. Let's go to uh, truth or lie. This is the truth or lie. This is the last segment of the last show, segment. everyone. Woo! Well done, Nick. You've made it this far. You've made it's it been to an absolute long. pleasure. Yeah. All right, should we um, do a little jingle? Yeah, jingle, jingle. 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 Okay, welcome back to Truth or, or Lie, Lie, the mm. game where our contestant must figure out if one of us is telling the... How do we do it? How, uh, how do we say this? Well, uh, well, our contestant has got to figure <laughs> out who's telling the truth and who's telling a lie That's in it. our yeah. story. One of us is lying, one of us is telling the truth. He has to figure it out, basically. Perfect. Okay, so do you want to hear our nutshells? You know how this works, don't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be right. We haven't thought of the nutshells yet, but we'll make it up. Just make it up. Um, what's that on your back? Yeah, oh, that's good. Like My one is um Whoa, 
What a cool speaker. Hmm. Jack's one sounds more interesting on the nutshell, so I'm going to start with you, Jack. So what what, what did you see on this person's back? It was actually my back. Oh, really? It was back in a primary school, Mm. believe it or not. So I went to Greece, and uh, I bought... Do you remember back in the day, there was those, like, tattoo booklets that you'd, like... Oh, the sticky ones. Yeah, and you'd put them on your body, and you'd, like, scrub them with a wet Mm. sponge... And it would look like a tattoo. So I went to Greece and uh, I thought they looked pretty cool. So I bought bought a pack of them. Now, not to spoil the story, but in Greece, there's quite a few uh, crude shops where mm. they sell like very... sex shops you're referring to? No, not sex shops, but they're obsessed with like dick candles and like... Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, everywhere like, you'll get, like, like bachelorette of, type shit. Yeah, and like, there'll be like packs of cards with like sex positions on dicks it. and dildos or it's like weird shit okay in greece they love it and they'll have like wooden carved penis anyway whatever so i bought this booklet and uh i thought i'd wear i'd wear a tattoo because back in the day in PE, you'd kind of get changed in front of everyone in the class mm. so i'd uh i put one on my back oh, um, with right. my brother um he clearly knew what had gone on here but I, uh, I take my top off and I was like, oh, everyone's going to notice my tattoo. Mm. And everyone's going to be asking me questions. Like, oh, where the fuck did you get that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it turns out it was, it was a cherry and it said, pop my cherry. Oh, shit. Had and you popped your off. cherry at this point? It, oh, I was, how old you? I was how old you? year three. So, so you po- <laughs> well, maybe you had, but probably So not. year three, maybe year two, I don't know. One of the oh, years. Okay. Um, but about that age. It's a very young age to be going in these kind of um, shops. sex shops. No, but it's, they're not sex shops. But even like a penis thing. No, it's not. Okay. No, so these are like souvenir shops. Oh, but, but they have these things. Every, every, in literally all these souvenir shops in Greece, they have like decks of cards or, or they'll have like a calendar with different sex positions and mm. weird shit like that. Okay. Um, and my parents didn't know, um, but my brother knew. And he helped me put it on. Mm. Um, and yeah, my teacher saw it and she. Uh, so she when you were getting changed parents. for PE, she obviously so, noticed this. Yeah, well, because kind of, I was kind of showing it off to people like, oh, look, got a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, no way, because they didn't know what it meant either. Mm. Um, and then the teacher was like, oh, shit. So she got a lot my of parents. Did you? Yeah. Um, to be fair, not really, because I, I didn't really know what it meant. But my parents were like, oh, we didn't know about it. Yeah. And uh, just had to wash it off. So okay. to be fair, I didn't get into much trouble, but interesting. Okay, That's doesn't that. sound that sounds like a fairly believable story. I know when you go on holidays, you can get these funky souvenirs and yeah. stuff, so it's not too wild. Yeah, I'll come back to you though. Cool. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna move my attention onto Cole here. Okay, so, so tell me about the speakers. These so speakers blew you away. Yeah, wow, cool speaker. I think it was my nutshell. And um, when I was at uni, I uh, think it was f- uh, first year of uni. Mm. I was late to my lecture. I was walking down the road and a van pulls up to me okay and it it goes oh mate come here and i'm like oh cool right okay sounds a bit creepy but yeah, yeah yeah and then he opens the back of his van and he goes oh, do you want look at that do you want one of these fucking speakers i've mm. got loads i've got like two of them uh with with over ordered on them we can't take them they're worth like two grand we can't take them back home because we're going straight back to like the depot if we return to the depot then they're just going to take the speakers back so mm. we might as well just get a bit of cash we'll send them to you for 500 quid how big were these speakers um they're about they were quite big speakers they're about like from how the tall was that from the ground about there so like what th- 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 uh, mm. four foot would have been hard to carry them though to sell them to yeah. on the street no no yeah so that's why um i was like i, I was like oh um yeah, uh, not really. It was asking, I was How asking much was he questions. asking for? 500 quid. And they're worth two grand, he said? Yes. Okay. And then I'm like, I don't really want them. I don't know. And he was like, I can play them for you if I want, if you yeah. want. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I believe you because you wouldn't, you wouldn't say no if they were fake or anything. And then I just said, yeah, fine. And then he drove me to my house, right? I okay. got in his fucking van. Mm. He drove me to my house and we walked in. He put the speakers in my room. I, he took me to a bank. I took 500 quid out. Okay. Gave him 500 quid. And I was stranded uh, when I gave him the 500 quid. I didn't want to lift back. And uh, why didn't you want I was, to lift back? I don't. I can't remember. Because you already I didn't knew where you lived. Back. If you worried about it. Yeah, I can't remember why I didn't get a lift back. And I, I thought, I think it was maybe near my house or something. And I walked back. No, I think I got a taxi back. And then um, he scammed me the 500 quid because the speakers didn't fucking work. And mm. then I looked it up, and apparently it's a common scam. Apparently it's yeah. a common scam. 
A lot of people do that. They try to sell you stuff out of cars, you know. Yeah, and I got. But did you did you feel peer pressure or did you actually? A little bit. I I felt like Billy Big Bollocks because I was like, "Mm, don't know, mate. Really. So you used your university loan money to to buy for food and yeah to buy buy uh, two speakers and I remember plugging them in, switching it on. There was was actually no on button, and uh, that was a big mistake. And Mm. they didn't work. And I opened it up, and it was hollow. (laughs) <laughs> oh, so they were just—they weren't even. No, they were just, they were just hollow fucking speakers. And um, what was this gentleman's? Like, what did he look like? There were two guys. Okay. Um, I can't remember what he looked were like. They English, now. like they're English, English. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. White van. Van wasn't even marked. Seems like a very strange thing to do. Yeah, I was. I'm, I'm struggling to believe it. I'm not saying I'm not quite convinced yet, but it's okay. a very just strange behaviour. I know you can do some strange things. But so, what, what was with this tattoo? What, what was people's reactions? Did they think it was quite cool? Or yeah, people they... thought it was sick. Yeah, yeah. You were the kind I mean, of talk there was of the, the town. There was a couple of haters like, "Oh, it's not a real tattoo." Mm. I mean, to be fair, I think everyone knew it wasn't a real tattoo. But like, <laughs> some people are like, like people like, I don't think everyone knew about these things. No, Do you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, but at that age, probably yeah, not and as much, and yeah. people were like, "Oh shit!" And they were like, "I was like, rub it. It won't come off." And they would like rub it. And it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, so people were quite <laughs> impressed by my little tattoo. And no one knew what pop my cherry meant. Yeah. It was just a cool cherry. Did you know at that point? No, of course not. I didn't know. Yeah. I still didn't know because my parents didn't actually explain. They just said, like, oh, we were really embarrassed. Uh, you had something rude on your back. And I was like, well, it's a cherry. Yeah. And they didn't, they never actually explained it. But then obviously. Did, did, were they annoyed at you or because you were kind of innocent? No, they were annoyed at my brother, really annoyed at my brother. Oh, so I, you, you sussed him out, grossed him off? I did. I didn't right. grass my brother up. But it's a common thing, you know, you grass your brother, you don't want to yeah. get in trouble, you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And he did get in trouble. What did they do? Um just had a go at him. They didn't they they weren't into grounding and shit. Slap him. Nah, I mean it's not like a that. thing that's gonna probably happen again. Yeah. You, know, you tell him off once, that's Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. And he's not yeah. But he'd always be doing little pranks like that. Mm. So. Okay. So what was what was your reaction when you found out the speakers were hollow? Were you, did you try to call the police or anything like that? No, I uh, just accepted your I fan? looked at it and my face dropped. I looked and I was like, oh, shit. And uh, I knew I'd been taken for a mug. Mm. And I was like, you fucking mugs. And then um, the next day, or the next few days, uh, we got robbed. And I think it was them. Yeah. Because uh, obviously they, when they came into our house, the door was sort of unlocked. And they were thought, oh, maybe. And you, yeah. And, and then you they, still didn't think to get, did they, what did they steal? Uh, did they steal anything? They steal? Like, did you have your stuff or was the stuff ready in the... They apartment. no, they still they just went into the living room and stole a te- uh, telly, I think. Oh, okay. I think and who were you sharing it with at this time? Anyway. Huh? This is when you were sharing uh, with Robo. Robo, uh, my mate Robo. Was um, was that blonde Alina. Guy? Uh, oh, Ollie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Alina and. But you obviously never admitted to them about the story because they probably would have thought that. Yeah, I didn't say that to them though. No. Okay. It would seem like a fucking retard. Interesting. Because I was eighteen. 18 yeah, years yeah. old. Yeah. I think I think I have my answer. Get your okay. ready. I think so. Remember to, to I, I mean, you can kind of, you can ask many questions, but you kind of got to go off instinct. That's okay. true. Well, Carl said you're good at games as well. So I do like to play games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I did say that about you. You're quite good at games. So I, it's I'm tricky scared. because, I mean, I don't know this story. And again, I feel like it's something you would have told me, but obviously you would have really thought about something that, well, it's pretty embarrassing, yeah. Mm. But maybe you didn't tell me because it's, you know, you would have got ridiculed. Uh, did you yeah. tell anyone about this? Uh, I told her... Uh, uh, the girl at the time that I was seeing, and she thought it was a spastic. Mm. She was like, "Come on, why, why would you? Why would you do that?" And I said, "I'm going to get fucking money, big money." Here. You, see, I can see you doing oh, something you like. Oh, so you tried to? You thought you could sell them again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought I could get big money. <laughs> it sounds like something you do. That's kind of what's convincing me. But thanks, mate. <laughs> no, but you know, you do some strange things. I feel like maybe not now, but back then. Okay. That being said, I think that. Oh, I don't know, yours sounds quite realistic. It's, it's tricky, you know? You, you yeah, listen and you think, one. oh, you could easily Very guess hard. that. But when you're actually in the I wonder what seat, the audience are thinking. Mm. Put your comments before. Oh, yeah, yeah but yeah. now. What are you I going think, with? I think, I think Jack's telling uh, the truth. And I think you're lying about this. Is that your, Is final, this your answer? final answer? I'm, I'm locking it in. You're locking it I'm in? I'm locking it in, Chris Tarrant. Okay. He's locked in. So he thinks, I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Cole's telling a lie. lie. Should we reveal our answers? In three, two, two one. one. <laughs> you you were wrong! Really? Yes! 
<laughs> you fucking oh, 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 mate. Thick cunt, <laughs> no mate. way. That yeah. was sick. That was we do it every of, fucking every episode. episode. I thought you'd get it. Yeah. I thought you'd get it. People are going to start thinking you're joking, like you're just playing no, every no, no. week. No, no. <laughs> genuine. Every this week. Is genuine, you're yeah. Right. yeah. I thought I you might have told you. I, I know, yeah. I yeah, thought I might have told you that story. No. So well, probably at the time you thought this I is did. embarrassing, and then after a while you just forget. Yeah, yeah. So that, that genuinely like, happened. I was fasting. Yeah, I gave him 500 quid. Yeah. Wow. And they wanted I was more. pretty confident about that. Really? Yeah. Wow, he must. It may, he might be listening to this. And he might be like, I think how many people he dies. Yeah. He's going to get some wow. bad karma. Don't I hate that mug. Probably dead now. I hope mm. he's dead and got beaten up. And he, he actually robbed us. I, I am convinced yeah, of Yeah, to come back. Because we that. went yeah, just be. straight away when we well, got the, the to my house. Well, the robbing thing sounded familiar. When you said that, I was like, oh, that did I thought I might have told you that, I yeah. maybe you did now. You're saying Because we pulled up to my house and then it was open. The door was open. And then a few days later, we got robbed. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's just because you're admitting it. But now, the more you say it, the more I think, I, I feel like I definitely remember you saying. Really? Like sending me a video of you walking through and... Probably. But maybe I'm misremembering. It's like you've implanted that. Yeah, I, I, I imagine I did tell you, yeah. Yeah. But, but that don't matter. There it's you go. Too late. You lost. It, and then Nick came up with a forfeit before. Yeah, are you going with that? Yeah. 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 Snort some uh, chili, chili sauce, sauce. Right. through a twenty pound note, specifically. specifically. That's what he wanted. That's what he ordered. It's so. weird big money. Yeah. yeah. So Nick, it's probably got, got, a it's got fifty pound note. Wouldn't even give a fuck. I've probably got like. Well, I guess you guys money. have to put the line out, don't you? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. We're gonna put the line Harry, out. Harry, do you want to get a camera out and get a good angle of this? Let's get a camera out. Um, we just put it on the table. Really? Sorry for you Spotify yeah. listeners, yeah. but if you want to see uh, our friend here, Should snort I, a chili. Maybe you can put the chilies. microphone right up to my nose. Yeah, so we'll really do that. Get a good, well. uh, you can, if you if you don't want to just hear the snort and watch the snort, listen to the snort, you can uh, come watch on YouTube. You watch the I've snort. never actually. Low IQ oh, you're on good at rolling these. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, yeah. You used to it. Oh, I've never rolled. Should I make these? You don't do cocaine. You just like the smell of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Shall I make a line? Has anyone here ever done cocaine? Nope. No, never. Have you, Nick? No, no one has here. No, no, I don't know what cocaine line. is. Good line. That's a lot of sauce. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking sauce. You're but used let me, to it. Let me, I, put, I guess I'll just put the microphone down. Will I? You take that. Or I'll, yeah, I'll, t- yeah I'll, I'll take me, give me the microphone. I'll hold it to you. Yeah. So it's got it's got to go up, and it's you've got to do a lot of it. Yeah. And well, we've got my best. well, you'll do you'll do it. There we go. You'll I'll do, do it. whatever I want, mate. Well, <laughs> you're not not on this show. Okay, right. you might want to take. You, you might have got to give me a countdown. Let me hold your hair back. Yeah, hold it's like your I'm hair being back. sick. You know, <laughs> like when you guys are sick at a party. Really? Oh, come here, Nick. Wait, oh, not yet. Okay. Here we go. Give me a countdown. Three, two, two one. one. Oh yeah. Oh, keep oh. going, biggie boy. Oh, keep going, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It that worked. Yeah, oh. I bet it is. Take Woo! It. Yeah. Oh, that's grim. How was oh. that? Well, I could. I didn't think for the second one it actually went up. No, I don't. I was really did. trying yeah. to suck, but block. What was it? What's it feel speak. like? Burning, man. His eyes are watering. The rest. Yeah. Oh, he said yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah how that was that? Good. I think really I'm going to be storing up. Oh, it's the tears are coming oh, out. Look at that little tear. Get a zoom up for that. <laughs> Get a zoom in on the tear. Oh, I'm so glad that's you oh. and not me. Put some sad music on it. <laughs> I'm yeah. so glad that's not us, mate. <laughs> You've well, done that to yourself. That yeah, I is the law you, of the universe. I wonder what you would yeah. have picked otherwise. Uh, we would have seen it and been like, we probably would have debated something, I imagine. Yeah. <sighs> but uh, well done, Nick. That was really good. Well done. Pleasure, guys. I'm Thanks for coming on, mate. Is it stinging? Oh, it's weird. It's just numb. It's like uh, I can't even feel my like nose. High. You could probably punch my nose and feel it. Really? <laughs> well, that's another guest yeah. down in the dumps from our game. How's yeah. you feeling, Jack? I feel great, mate. I feel We're good at this. Great. We're good at this acting We're stuff. Really Every good. taking every single thing. Yeah, this has been a real pleasure, guys. <laughs> you turned Indian again. Here we go. No offense, because he's Indian, by the way. That's just because. Yeah. All right. Well, All thanks, right. Nick, for joining us. Thank you, Nick. I would say uh, here are his socials, but he doesn't have any. Yeah, just, just keep supporting these makes guys. It easy and for just, the edit. You know, yeah, just that's enjoy, why I did yeah. it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.